Dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts. Your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversations. Decoding John's Gospel, The Spiritual Significance of the Incarnation The 27th lecture focuses on John's unique perspective on the life of Jesus compared to the other New Testament Gospels. While the first three Gospels provide a more physical account of Jesus' life, John presents a more spiritual Gospel. John begins by identifying Jesus as a divine word of God and emphasizes that his actions are signs that convey divine truths. However, John also acknowledges the importance of the physical aspect, stating that the word of God became flesh in Jesus, conveying divine reality through tangible experiences. The ultimate goal of John's gospel is to bring authentic life to humanity, encompassing both the spiritual and physical dimensions. John introduces the story of Jesus in the context of God's creation of the world, emphasizing that the word was present in the beginning and was divine. John uses the term logos to refer to the word, which typically means word or communication. However, John goes beyond ordinary usage and associates the Logos with the power to create. By linking the creation story in Genesis with Jesus as the embodied Word of God, John conveys that the same creative power is at work in Jesus. John considers life to have both physical and theological dimensions. While physical life involves bodily functions, John also views true life as moving from darkness to light, from ignorance to understanding, and from alienation to a returned relationship with God. According to John, Jesus as the Word made flesh represents the encounter of the divine with humanity, conveying the creative will of God through His words, actions, and identity. The purpose of the Word becoming flesh is to restore humans for a meaningful relationship with God. The lecture also explores specific narratives to John's Gospel that convey divine reality through actions or signs. Jesus turning water into wine is the first sign, demonstrating His glory and divine favor. Feeding the multitudes reveals the struggle over the interpretation of Jesus' actions, emphasizing that true life goes beyond physical sustenance and involves restored relationships with God. Healing the blind man challenges traditional notions of sin and punishment, emphasizing Jesus as the light of the world who brings physical and spiritual sight. Finally, the raising of Lazarus signifies the climax of Jesus' public career, showcasing his power over death. In summary, John's Gospel presents a unique perspective on the life of Jesus, emphasizing his divine identity as the Word made flesh. Through science and actions, John conveys the divine reality and the restoration of authentic life through a meaningful relationship with God. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series. Unearth stories and symbols in a fresh literary light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. Thank you for joining us in this insightful journey through the Gospel of John. We've explored the profound spiritual dimensions of Jesus' life, where miracles become signs of divine truth and the Word becomes flesh to dwell among us. As we wrap up this episode, remember that John's Gospel invites us into a deeper understanding of Jesus as the giver of life, bridging the divine with our human experience. It is a narrative that challenges us to see beyond the physical and embrace the spiritual realities of faith, love, and eternal life. If this exploration has sparked your curiosity or deepened your faith, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. This way you won't miss our next episode, Understanding the Essence of Love in the Gospel of John, where we'll dive into the transformative power of love as depicted in the latter half of John's Gospel. 
We look forward to having you with us. Your thoughts and reflections enrich our discussion. So please share them in the comments below. Let's continue to learn and grow together in our understanding of this timeless spiritual truth. Until next time, keep pondering the depth of the gospel and let the words of John inspire your journey of faith. Thank you for being part of our community. Stay blessed.